Okay, so what we're gonna do today is to take some footage from our movie, The Confession, and put some basic motion to it. So before we do anything, let's take a look at the original footage. Why don't you tell everyone here how Julie was able to afford a $3,000 a month condo without having a job? It was mine. Oh, so you paid for her to stay at your place? Don't get smart, Sharon, all right? Now, what we wanna do is to use motion to create a techno crane kind of pullback like this. Why don't you tell everyone here how Julie was able to afford a $3,000 a month condo without having a job? It was mine. Oh, so you paid for her to stay at your place? Don't get smart, Sharon, all right? All right, now. So the first thing we gotta do is to change the view to image and wireframe. Now the playhead should be at the beginning of our sequence, and it is. So now, we're gonna double click on the footage to bring it up in the viewer and choose the motion tab. Now here's where we can affect the scale. And since we're trying to create a pullback effect, what we're gonna to wanna to do is to increase the scale like this. You can see it increasing, there you go. So let's set the scale to 140. And then we're gonna click this button here, which sets the keyframe. So now our first frame is gonna be 140% of the original shot. And as you can see, it's kind of cutting off our actor's head here. And we can't have that, so we're gonna to wanna to reframe the next shot. So let's go back into motion and click this plus sign, which just allows us to choose a different center of our frame. And then we can just go over to the browser here and click and drag our frame until we are happy. And that should be pretty good. There you go, right there. Okay, and once, you, once we're finished, you can see that the values have changed in our motion tab. Okay, now we're gonna go back into the timeline and drag our playhead to the last frame of our footage to set the end of our motion. Now let's double click on the footage again, bring it into the viewer and go back into our friend the motion tab. And to create our pullout motion, we're gonna wanna change the scale back to our original size, which is 100. But this time, instead of clicking the keyframe button, we're just gonna hit the return key. And let's recenter it to zero as well, and hit return for this also. Okay. So now let's bring the playhead to the beginning of the sequence and watch what we've created. Why don't you tell everyone here how Julie was able to afford a $3,000 a month condo without having a job? Okay, cool. So we got our pullout. Now we're gonna to wanna to add the twisting motion. So let's double click on the footage again and return to the motion tab. And this time, we're gonna play with the rotation. As you can see, you can just pull and move this bar here. It changes the rotation. So after we choose our rotation, we wanna set the keyframe by pushing the keyframe button. And next we go to the last frame to set the end of our motion. Sounding familiar yet. Very simple. And we'll change this back to zero. And hit return. So that's our motion. Now we gotta render it. Let's do that. And as soon as this is rendered, we'll take a look at our work. Okay, here we go. Why don't you tell everyone here how Julie was able to afford a $3,000 a month condo? All right, it's pretty close, but we still have that bottom right corner which is blacked out. So to fix that, we're gonna create a letterbox mask. To do this, let's export this as a QuickTime movie. And don't forget to set your ins and outs. And next, we're gonna import the sequence we just created and bring it into our timeline with overwrite. And now you know the drill. Double click on the footage, go to the motion tab, and then this time we're gonna use the crop function because we wanna crop the top and the bottom. And because we only want a slight letterbox, let's choose a value of 10. Set the keyframe, do the same thing for the bottom, and then we're done. So let's watch it. Why don't you tell everyone here how Julie was able to afford a $3,000 a month condo without having a job? It was mine. Oh, so you paid for her to stay at your place? 
Don't get smart, Sharon, all right? And that's it. If you'd like to see more, please come visit our website at www.filmschoolinabox.net. Thank <laughs> you.